dance from blaster.how and today we're going to show you how to install blaster the easy way because I've been informed by Paul my mate who owns blaster that the hotfix is only required if you have the outdated INQ which most web hosts and servers should have the proper latest updates of the INQ loaders which is number 10 or version 10 so this is my subdomain tux.blaster.how and today we're going to install blaster so if we go to blaster.com we want to go and download the latest version we're going to click download and it works Right. Yeah, I don't need to monitor. Yeah, that's six seconds. Okay, we're using direct admin. So we're going to go to the file manager. I'm going to go into the HTML and I'm going to go into the tux, which is where our subdomain is. I'm going to delete the index because we're going to add the index. And then we're going to click upload file. Okay, we should check that's installed properly. The only downside is it looks like it's extracted itself. So I'm using the MacBook, so I'm going to go to the Finder, the MacBook. Okay, we'll try that then. Let's see what we can do. Right. Okay, my computer's playing fine now. We can now go to the Finder. Is it on desktop? No, it's already in the downloads. That's the first section. As you can see, it's already put in. We're going to go to this. We want to. We'll open that. I need the files inside it. Okay. Right. We only technically want this file. So I'm going to zip these up. So highlight, right click, and then we're going to compress 12 items. It should make it a little zip. Right, as we're waiting for that to upload, Lester is really easy to install. If you have a Windows computer, I don't believe it, it extracts, so you won't have to wait at this stage. But Mac seems to extract everything, which is quite annoying. Okay, that's the noise I want, that says it's done. So we're going to click on here, we're going to click on downloads. And then we're going to go into the blaster 4.6, which is our folder here. We should have an archive inside blaster. We're going to upload that. Nice and simple, just upload. Shouldn't take that. While we're waiting for that to extract, we're going to go to the MySQL management. 
I'm gonna make a tiny space and just call it quite a new one. Let's call it Tuts. It's gonna keep the username the same. You can change it if you want to, but for simplicity, we're going to make it a new one. Let's copy that to the database. It's only a test, so I don't need to worry about that. So it's updated. Right, now that's uploaded, we're going to click on Extract. I'm going to extract it here. And all done. Now we've got everything. We're going to delete that folder because we don't need it. Don't need the zip. And that is everything. Right, there for later. Right now, if we go to the tutorial and we F5. Functionality installer. Okay, we're going to click install. We're going to agree it. Make sure you read the license. Put the minimum requirements. Choose the template free. We don't have encrypt and we don't have GIMP. That is, I think, for security reasons. You don't need Okay, we're going to copy in here. We've got how install tuts, how install tuts, and then the password we're going to put in. And we're going to install it. And make it work. And there we go. Now, if you bought a license key through cluster.com, cluster.store, and uh, anywhere else, the web post. You enter your key here. We're going to click the 30 day trial. Paul's like, stop making trials. Right, it's going to be free. I've used my email address too much. And I've got an email account. I'm going to copy that to apply for. Email Mike, type in your password. Don't want to use your stupid password. Okay, we'll click finish. And there we go, we're now logged in. Okay, first thing we're going to need is configure the cron job. So we're going to copy the command and then we're going to go to the management page for direct admin. Go to dashboard, we want to look for crons, which is this one here, cron job, with the little robot. As you see, I've already got one set up. So we're going to click new cron job and paste it in there. We don't need any of that. And then on the minutes, we're going to put four slash and five, make it run every five minutes. And we're going to click create. So as you can see, it technically looks exactly the same as one I have already set. Okay, we're going to get back. That's not running yet because we didn't run any of the right. So that's the con job. We need to make sure we've got the setup properly as well. We didn't upload that way. So what we're going to do is going to click on here, and copy that, we're going to paste it in there, and we're going to click upload. Okay, at the moment it says not writable because it doesn't exist. I'm going to cheat a bit and go to file manager. Click on how. And we're going to create a folder. We're going to call that uploads. Create now. Okay, it already exists. Set the permissions, it's already 777. And then we're going to click save. 
and now that's writable. Okay, if you've got clout license, you'll need to activate this. Oh, as you can see, the font is wrong. So we're going to run that. Should run every five minutes. That's all done. Um, we should be all green. Yeah, yeah. My trial expires on the 9th of December. Okay, so that's how you install Blester. Simple, easy, as it should be. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Blester.store with Blester.how. With Michael Dance. Uh, I doubt.